Hello friends, in this video I am going to show the advantages of MP Dexterity. I have acquired MP Dexterity during COVID times and friends I have realized that there are so many advantages of MP Dexterity. So let me show first how I have been doing traditionally right handed surgery. I am uh, dominant with my right hand and you can see this video. This video speed is three times higher just to accommodate within given eight minutes. So you can see this is a relatively hard cut rack which I have chopped very well and now I am removing all the pieces without even help of second instrument. Friends, I have been playing table tennis and uh, badminton with my left hand. So during COVID times when there were very few patients to operate, so I thought why not to try doing surgery with the left hand. And gradually over three years, I feel I have learned a lot. Now I am going to show you how I have been doing with left hand now. So this is a surgery which I did almost six months back and uh, you can see I am uh, now able to do all the steps with my left hand. So you can see I am doing capsulotomy with the left hand and that is also free hand. I am not using second instrument. I am doing hydro dissection and uh, now uh, I am doing fake emulsification. This is supratemporal surgery and you can see it is a very hard cataract, grade 4 cataract and I am I'm doing with the left hand. So I'm, and uh, I am using my dominant hand for chopping. So honestly speaking friends, it is actually easy to learn FICO with the left hand because if you see any right handed person should have an instrument in the right hand which needs more manipulation and I believe chopper needs more manipulation than the FICO hand piece. So it's just a mental block. If you try to learn, I believe if I have acquired, anybody can acquire it. So you can see this is a very hard cataract and I am chopping with uh, relatively ease yes speed of surgery with left hand is about half a minute slower as compared to my right hand surgery but the results and uh, complication wise my left hand surgeries are at par with the right hand now but yeah it has taken good three years to reach this level so you can see i'm chopping and uh, i'm separating all the quadrants this is because this is a cheesy hard cataract so there are additions at the posterior cortical plate so i have selected this cataract to show that no level of complexity of cataract can stop you once you acquire ambidexterity after a certain time you feel every cataract surgery can be done equally with the right hand or with the left hand and you can see that people is also trying to constrict i am still managing with my left hand as with any hard cataract i have used viscoat in this cataract also and you can see people is constricting again and again and uh, there is no hesitation i am still able to manage all the quadrants hard nucleus with my left hand and you can see friends that there is no irish chafing and uh, there is no any turbulence because of my left hand now I'm showing some cases where you can see the advantage of being ambidextrous. First case is a small pupil phaco where here you can see I'm making ports and doing everything with the left hand dominantly. Now because this is a small pupil, so I'm doing this surgery without using any pupil dilation ring. Friends, you will notice I'm doing capsulotomy using both hands alternately. First I use my left hand to do 50% of capsulotomy and now I'm using right hand to do rest of the capsulotomy. Because pupil is constricting again and again, I am using viscoelastic in between. Patience is the key. So I'm taking my time to complete the capsulotomy. I'm injecting viscoelastic. And to complete the capsulotomy, I am using micro forceps in my left hand. And now capsulotomy is complete. And now I am doing hydro resection. Nuclear rotation. Again using my left hand. And now I am starting doing phaco with my left hand. Holding handpiece and chopper in my right hand. So you can see this chopper is negotiating the capsule as well as iris. And friends, if you notice, there is no uh, chafing of iris and I am very, very comfortable completing FACO with such a small people and you can notice there is floppy iris which is trying to come to ports but I have made ports a little anteriorly so there is no problem as such. Friends, I would like to tell you this chopper which I have been using has been designed by me for this special purpose. This chopper has a special angle which negotiates with the capsule and also act as a guard to protect iris, capsule as well as endothelium. Now I am putting intraocular lens with the left hand and I am using bimanual irrigation and aspiration to confirm that oil is in the bag and you can see friends such a small pupil and surgery is completed uneventfully. And now I am showing another case, very interesting case. This patient had a grade 5 hard brown cataract with posterior polar cataract. And friends, we know it is always a challenge to do posterior polar cataract, especially with hard nucleus. Because hard nucleus needs good hydro dissection and rotation of the nucleus, but posterior polar needs no hydro dissection and no nuclear rotation. So, friends, 
Every dexterity has given me a, a new idea to manage such cases. So you can see I have made two ports 90 degree apart and without doing hydro dissection and without doing nuclear rotation. So I'll be using two tunnels to make two trenches and these trenches will be perpendicular to each other like a cross. And now you can see it, it has actually become a four quadrant technique without doing hydro dissection and without doing nuclear rotation. This has been made easy because of MB dexterity though if somebody is using only one hand they have to shift their chair position and they can still manage to do this but it will take extra time. So now you can see I am separating the four quadrants because trench is not full thickness so I am just deepening the trench and now you can see I am able to separate the quadrants and uh, by using two instruments maybe chopper maybe Sinsky hook or maybe Feco hand piece wick chopper you can separate all four quadrants because there are two ports and two tunnels and now uh, I am removing quadrant in a piecemeal and friends till now you can see there is no breach of posterior capsule and there has been no extra pressure and yes I am using all the parameters as suggested for posterior polar cataract like low bottle height, low vacuum and low aspiration flow rate and you can see now I am removing epinuclear plate, epinuclear plate is out and you can see uh, cortical matter is deficient in the center and after removal of epinuclear plate I am doing irrigation and aspiration of cortex and it has to be very gentle because during cortical aspiration PC rent may happen and now you can see there is a small area of thin capsule which is visible in the center and I am doing hydro implantation of the lens like a routine surgery and friends this is a grade 5 cataract with posterior polar cataract and because of these two tunnels I have been able to negotiate the surgery successfully. Now in this clip you can see me performing surgery using my left hand in the right eye of a patient and I am doing supranasal surgery which actually is not easy for any right handed surgeon to be able to perform. Friends, some people are naturally ambidextrous but the question is can we acquire ambidexterity? So in this video I have shown and I have proved that acquired ambidexterity is not impossible and if you do hard work it is very much possible to achieve ambidexterity and friends there are several advantages which I am realizing after attaining this skill. I have tried to show some advantages in this video but I may not be able to show all the advantages in this limited time. Thank you for watching this video.